One of the coolest things about the Adeptus Mechanicus as Guitari is that their visual language makes conversions from a variety of sources possible, since they're fundamentally just robot body parts under robes. In this case, this Reaper miniature caught my eye and immediately my interest was piqued to see if I could convert him into a Skatari. Though the detail on him is a little rough, all I was really planning on keeping were his robes and hood, and his stance is really dynamic. The first step to converting him was to strip off his more recognizable fantasy elements. That meant snipping off his wizard's staff, the pouches hanging from his waist, and the tassel at the back of his poncho. One of the interesting things about this figure is that instead of plastic or resin or even metal, he's made out of some kind of rubbery material. It's an interesting material to work with because it's really easy to cut but can't really be scraped or sanded, which meant I had to be careful with where I cut because it would be hard to smooth out later. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to cut off the scroll he's holding here because holding some kind of binary screed praising the Omnissiah is a perfectly mechanicus thing to do, so I decided to hedge for now and detach it from his leg and make the decision later. With his more noticeably fantasy elements filed off, I started dry fitting Skatari body parts on him to get an idea of what worked and what didn't. A fairly straightforward Skatari conversion of him would swap his arms out with a Skatari rifle and that would have been the easiest way to go, but I felt like it was too simple and unimaginative. Another idea I'd had lurking in the back of my mind pretty much since I first saw him was to replace his staff with a sniper rifle of some kind. In this case, this is the long rifle from the Iron Strider kit, though I could probably have used the one from the Skatari Ranger kit. Either way, the height would be almost perfect if it wasn't for that pesky attached arm. Still not sure where I wanted to take his arms, I decided to start with something I was sure about, which was swapping the bottom half of his right leg with that of a Skatari Ranger, which slotted in nearly perfectly. While I don't hate the original sculpt's face, it's a lacking a bit in detail, and I knew replacing it was going to be necessary to make sure the final model read as Skatari. I started the process of defacing him with clippers, moved to a knife, and finally ended up using a whittling knife I had sitting around to scoop out his face while leaving the edges of his hood intact. While it would have been easier to just cut the whole head and hood off and replace it with the normal ranger one, for the face I had in mind I'd need the hood intact. Said face was this little speck that is Belisarius calls. Gluing it in was a complete pain and I shifted it like 6 times, but the final fit was really good both physically and visually. Ever since I got it off a bit site I've been trying to think of a place to use it and it's perfect here, helping our Skatari stand out from the pack a little bit. While I could probably have left it since it's not explicitly fantasy, the model's vest I thought could be improved on. I wanted to keep the poncho portion though. I dug out the vest piece and then took a death rattle skeleton's breastplate and tried to clip it down so it looked like it was sitting under the poncho. This worked exactly none and looked pretty terrible. I gave up on the death rattle breastplate and decided instead to try this little armor piece that's originally from a Necromunda bone grinder that I'd taken off as part of my Skatari conversion of those. You can check out that video at the end of this one if you're interested. The bone grinder piece ended up fitting our Skatari nearly perfectly without any snipping needed. There's a little bit of a gap between it and the bottom half of his robes, but nothing a little green stuff later couldn't fill. I also added a ranger backpack and cut him off from his base. There's no putting off his arms any longer, but by this point I'd settled on the sniper option. The one problem is that the only version of the rifle I had had a hand and an arm attached to it. I tried as carefully as I could to snip it off without damaging the rifle itself, but it inevitably left some blank areas. My camera seems to have decided not to focus on it at all, but gluing the rifle into the slot where the staff originally was, was really easy. I thought for a bit about replacing that arm with a mechanical one, but honestly I liked the way it wrapped around and held the rifle too much to mess with it, and the model ended up having enough Skatari parts not to need it. To hide my crime scraping off the arm from the rifle stock, I glued a purity seal over it. This actually ended up being really helpful in reinforcing the blowing in the wind look his robes already had going on, which is a happy coincidence. To give even more of a Skatari feel, I snipped off the dangly bits from the back of a ranger backpack to try and add it to the sweep of his robe, but couldn't ever quite find a place where they fit. I tried first on his back, then by his right leg. I glued it there for a little bit and put some rust stalker pouches over it, but eventually got rid of it later entirely. The final element I added was a rust stalker arm. I also added some green stuff after this to fill in the parts around the chest plate. And with that our Skatari Ranger was done. No exaggeration, he's probably my favorite miniature I've made so far. He has a great pose and silhouette, shoulders hunched forward, head staring down what's coming at him while the wind grasps at his robes. You can just imagine him on some windswept plain of Mars, red sand spreading all around him. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe and check out some of the other Admech conversions I've done.